to flight training. I'm your instructor, Captain Molina, but you can just call me Jess. This session, we'll get started with some basic controls. Sound good? First things first, let's get familiar with your surroundings. Don't worry. I've got the stick while you get your bearings. Out your side windows, you can see we have great visibility over Sedona today. This is Red Rock territory. Beautiful, isn't it? the Sedona Airport. The runway should be a pretty easy landmark to find. There you go. Visual confirmation on the airport. Now that we're oriented, it's your turn. Time to fly this bird. The first control on our training list is the yoke. I still remember my first instructor saying the yoke is like a steering wheel. Almost. Sure, you can turn, but you can also pitch. For starters, it controls the ailerons. And the ailerons, they allow the plane to roll and bank into turns. Go ahead and try rolling to the right. Nice. Now let's see you level back out. Good. Of course, the yoke also controls the elevator. And the elevator affects the plane's pitch, right? Pull back on the stick, the plane starts to climb. Give it a shot. The most valuable things in aviation are speed and altitude. But notice, when you're pitching up, your speed is decreasing. You could add more power. Or for now, let's just pitch down. Just like that, your speed's picking up again as the nose pitches down. As you level back out, let's talk about another control, the rudders at your feet. Rudder pedals control the aircraft's side-to-side -side movement, also known as yaw. On the ground, those pedals are gonna steer the plane left or right. Up here, they properly align us during turns. Try them out and watch the plane's nose skew to either side. Simple enough, right? Before we go on, let's bring the plane back to straight up flight. Make sure your dashboard is aligned three to four inches below the horizon for a cruise attitude. Okay, the last thing we're gonna cover now is the throttle. If you have the need for speed, then the throttle's for you. 
full control over the power output of the engine. Let's see what happens when you cut all the power. Good job. 